Yo, what is up guys? It is Vortex here and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we are going to be going over the new My Restaurant update. This is probably the biggest update in My Restaurant that's ever been dropped. So this update is going to be pretty insane guys. Let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so over here if we turn around as you can see, there is a brand new auction house right here. This looks absolutely insane as you can see. It's right behind the shop or right in front of the shop. As you can see, this is the auction house and it looks so insane. It looks so cool. As you can see, there's all the recent sales for everything. And you can oh, come over here, you can sell items, you can list items, you can do all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure also over here, they have new items, they have a ton of new items. But I'm pretty sure they have a unique amount of new items right here as you can see. So we have this statue right here, as you can see there's only 47 left, so I'm just going to buy 3 of them I think. Did it let me buy 3 of them? I think I bought 3 of them. Um, I think it will. Let me see, see if I can just buy 1, okay. It may have worked, it may have not, or was that 5 billion? That's actually 5 billion, never mind. So I do not have 5 billion, I do not have enough for that actually, I thought I, it was 5 million, but it's actually 5 billion. And then we have these luxury signs, we have these signs, I'll just buy a couple of these I guess just in case. And then we have these coffee machines which are 10,000 in stock. Oh wait, it says purchase success. Okay, it's for these. Okay, so we have the coffee machine right here, which costs 650 Robux, and there's 10,000 in stock. And then right here we have the futuristic designs, and these look super super cool too. I'm just gonna buy a couple of them so we can check them out later. And then I'm gonna buy one of these coffee machines. All right, guys, let's push E and let's purchase one of these coffee machines. I don't think there's a limit to how many you can buy, so I'm just gonna purchase one of them for the time being. So there we go. We purchased one coffee machine. That's super cool. And there's actually, I just realized, I'm pretty sure there's only a hundred of these. That's super, super cool, but it's obviously super, super rare, and it's probably very, very hard to get. I doubt even, I don't even think a hundred people are able to even afford this, so that's pretty cool, but I doubt anyone can afford that, which is insane. So we're going to go back to our restaurant, and we're going to place this coffee machine down and see what this does. I'm not completely sure. Actually, hold on. Before I go back, I'm pretty sure they did add a new theme over here. Yeah, they did add a new theme right here. They added the penthouse theme. This looks really cool too. So we're just gonna purchase it because I'm pretty sure this is the best theme with that's not the future one. So there we go, we just purchased it. Let's push E and equip it. So now let's go back to our restaurant. I'm pretty sure that's everything in the shop there is in this update. Let's go back to our restaurant now. And it did not update for some reason. We have to go all the way back. Alright guys, now it is working. And as you can see, this looks super, super cool. This looks like it's like a modern theme, but it's not like the future theme. It looks super cool. I think there's like supposed to be purple lights coming off of it, but there isn't. So either way, it still looks super, super cool and really nice. But you actually cannot get in it from the top anymore. The castle thing, you can, you're able to jump through the windows and get through it. But on this one, you cannot get through it, sadly. So it also changed the brightness of your whole entire restaurant. As you can see, it looks a little bit darker. So we're going to delete one of these jewelry cases. And we're just going to put the coffee machine down. I might be, think, um... Is it in decor? It might be in decor. Let me see if I can go over here. So, is it an appliance? Okay, yeah, it's in appliances. Here it is. And here is the coffee machine. I'm just going to place it down right there for now. So, apparently what it does is that workers will go up to it and they will drink some coffee and they'll be able to walk faster. So this sounds super insane and I don't really know what will happen. I need to wait for a worker to come to it. Hopefully, it's able to. they're able to drink the coffee. I'm not really completely sure if they like have an animation or something. But that's still super, super cool. It apparently will make them faster. But I guess we have to just wait and see if they drink it. Alright guys, they aren't drinking it, so maybe there has to be a space in between. I'm not 100% sure, but I deleted the jewelry case behind it and placed it, so maybe, hopefully now they drink it. So someone's standing next to it, I don't know if they're actually drinking it or something, but they're just standing next to it. So hopefully they drink the coffee, I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but yeah. Alright guys, so there's two waiters that are standing next to it right now, so I guess they're drinking it or something, because... If there's no animation for showing them, maybe I because ha I have animations off, that could be why. Uh, let me see if I turn on animations. Maybe maybe they'll drink the coffee, maybe they'll, they'll have an animation, I'm not completely sure. Oh, I think they do right there, as you can see. They're doing like something with their hands right there. So I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure he just drank, drank coffee, and he's now walking faster. I don't know where he went because there's so many waiters, but I'm pretty sure he drank the coffee, as you saw. So yeah, they're now sitting here and drinking coffee, and they're a little bit faster. So that's still super cool, and they probably only need one machine. I doubt having more machines really benefits you that much. So I'm going to go to my 10th floor. I'm going to activate the wishing well, both of these wishing wells, and the slot machine. So there we go. I'm going to go back to the first floor. And actually, I'm going to place the future designs. I'm going to come up here and just show them off of what they look like. So we have the... Oh, wait. Okay. So we got that from the slot machine. 
we can place the futuristic chair right there and the futuristic tables um i'm not sure they're not oh here wait that's the retro tables do we not have the futuristic tables all right so now hopefully okay it, uh, maybe you just can't buy futuristic tables guys i'm not completely sure why it's not working it says almost sold out there's 400 left maybe they're already sold out i'm not completely sure i'm just trying to buy them and it says slow down you cannot purchase limited items that quickly their servers must be lagging a ton from this so i guess i can't purchase one anymore i guess they're like sold out so sadly i am not able to get the tables because they must have sold out super fast I guess that for some reason the tables have 400 left and the chairs have 32,000. So I don't know if they made a glitch on their side with like not putting as much available or something. But I guess I just can't purchase any tables. That kind of sucks. But I mean, I guess I don't think it really does much other than just for looks. But it still looks super cool. I kind of wanted at least one of them to have in my restaurant. But I guess I'm just going to have chairs. I, I'm going to have to buy one from the auction house, I guess. So that's pretty cool. And there's obviously... All these signs and stuff. I'm not going to spend 75 Robux on a sign because it is not that worth. And this one, there's only 26 left and they're selling out super fast. But yeah, it's really cool. Let's go over to the auction house and see how this works. Alright guys, and over here there's like pen, there's like podiums for like what's coming soon. Maybe this is like the top items that are like worth the most or something. I'm not completely sure. But if we push E, we can go to the market and there's trending and there's appliances, furniture, and decor. And as you can see, these things are going for a lot. The futuristic table costs 9 million. For someone selling this for, it's probably going to go down a little bit because it just came out. So I'm not going to purchase it. And as you can see, the, if you want to purchase the coffee machi machine, it's 740 million coins. Or you can just get it for 600, 650 Robux, which I did. But it's still a ton of coins, and that's insane. And a lot of the stuff in the shop just isn't loading. And then you can also put stuff in your storage right here. And you can only put up limited items, I'm pretty sure, as you can see. I can't put up, like, luxury items or anything. You can only put up limited items, as you can see. So I'm just going to put, like, up one futuristic chair. And I guess, as you can see, it uses a slot to post a futuristic chair on the global market. And you can set the expiration for a certain amount of time. I'm just going to do 24 hours. And it says the recommended sell price is 4.2 million. And I can't click confirm for some reason. I don't know, maybe because there's, like, I think the servers are, like, lagging, guys. I think because there's so many people that are on the server right now. And it's just lagging all the server because it's a global market so everyone can use it. So I'm pretty sure it's just like I can't click confirm. I'm not completely sure why. Oh wait, maybe it's to enter the amount. Okay, that's actually I did not know that. So I'm just gonna put the average amount for 4.2 million. Do I have to put colons? Okay, no, I don't have to put colons. So there we go. And I as you can see, there's a market cut for 840,000. So it does take a bit of money away. And then we can just click confirm. So there we go. It's now on the market for 3.3 million. That's super cool. I don't know if someone, someone's going to buy it or not, but that still looks super cool. As you can see, these are all the other signs that are in the game. And for some reason, the wooden sign costs more than the modern sign. I'm not what's, I'm kind of confused what's up with that. It's kind of weird. It might be only for your server too. Oh no, I think this is the average of value. So if I want to, oh yeah, so I can just click it as you can see. And I can see every person that's selling it. And these prices are not very reasonable. There's a, there's a thousand million, which is a billion. I don't know why that's listed as that. There's 2 billion, 4 billion, 5 billion, and yeah. And there's a second page right here, as you can see, up to 900 billion. I don't know who would buy this, but it's still pretty cool. People are selling it, and as you can see, you can see their names and everything. That looks super, super cool, and there's nothing in trending. I don't know why. Maybe it's coming in the future or something, but that still is super cool, and you can only sell limited items, I guess. So we only have these limited things for now, but I'm guessing when, the, when more updates come out for the game, there's going to be way more to buy, and this is only 500 million. I could buy it, but I also want to save my money and get more stuff in the future. Because I have not been grinding this game that much. I could have been able to get the statue, but I haven't grinded this game for like since the last update, which was like three weeks ago. So I need to start grinding this game. As you can see, that this is the sign for the new theme also. And it looks really cool. As you can see, it looks super clean and nice. But yeah. But yeah, guys, this is probably the most insane update in this entire game so far. Hopefully the future updates in this game bring a lot more stuff to this auction house and there's so much more stuff that can be added that's absolutely is insane guys but yeah it's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed make sure you guys join the discord server the link is in the description make sure you guys get some roblox merch the link is also in the description and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 6k subs and we're getting so close which is absolutely insane guys but i mean yeah it's been vortex and i'm out peace